Throughout 2019, Chicago has undergone many positive changes. In this case, the parks around our beautiful city have flourished with the help of several sculptures chosen to be constructed within them. From Washington Park to Riley Park, Todd, and of course Marktown Park, these masterpieces further bring out the beauty that is East Chicago. Here are the artists and their testaments. Marco McMahon. Dusty Fawarsney. I am Nicole Beck. Sky Schulte. Ted Sitting Crow Garner. My name is Christina. Nike. Hawk and Dove. So the name of this piece is Pilon. Uh, this piece is called Oscillate. The sculpture is entitled Birds of Fire. Sculpture called Dauntless. Uh, most of my pieces take about 200 hours. Um, this would be right in that ballpark. I teach at uh, Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois, and so um, I work on the piece uh, during um, breaks from classes and, and outside of class, so um, th those 200 hours are generally spanned over about three months. Uh, years. I first modeled the sculptures in plaster, uh, life-size, full-scale, then sent them to Bear, Vermont, and um, these sculptures were used as a silhouette for the um, profile and from the top so that we had the basic shape cut out um, electronically. Then it was hand carved for the full round version. So these are the original plaster sculptures that are now cast in a durable material for a city park. The uh, piece this scale takes me about two months of some hardcore work. Um, this piece probably took me between design, fabrication, and um, painting it, probably about three weeks. This piece probably took like three weeks to make. Uh, it took me, I was just, uh, about a month, five weeks maybe, yeah. It was actually one of the first projects I did when I uh, was attending art school back in 1979. About six months. Uh, this piece is, is basically symbolic of um, the, uh, the Nikkei of Samothrace, which was found, um, it's a marble sculpture um, with the wings and body intact. Uh, the head was missing, but it, it uh, basically maintained the, the essence of, uh, of power in the, uh, the sculpture. And so I kind of wanted to, uh, to reference that, uh, that ancient Greek goddess and the, uh, the idea of victory. Um, it also has some, uh, some feelings of um, of uh, automotive um, industry, uh, things like uh, side pipes and, uh, and, and grill work from uh, some of the classic uh, automobiles, and, and I believe that that's um, kind of an interesting aspect of it as well. The inspiration was my parents. My father was uh, in World War II uh, flying for the Navy and the U.S. Army Air Force. My mother was a stewardess and uh, moving the troops around the United States um, for training. So both of them were uh, involved in the war, but peace-loving people. So I wanted to show the dichotomy of them being part of this worldwide um, endeavor in 1943, 1942, and also that they were striving for peace, and that was their reason for their uh, energy. But now they are resting in peace, and um, so that's with the calmness of the two types of birds. Um, so if you've ever been to the Caribbean, the water there is just this beautiful turquoise color, similar to the waters in Australia. And it, the jewel tone color is the inspiration for the color of the piece, the turquoisey color, but also the little like um, tornado-y things that kind of spiral in the water is what kind of um, inspired this piece. So it's meant to look kind of active and like it's kind of spiraling. Uh, a lot of my work has to do with uh, astrophysics and quantum physics. And, uh, I just completed a work that uh, stands in front of the uh, University of Illinois uh, building for electrical and computer engineering. 
and uh, so yeah my my jazz is uh, nature and physics I went to a sculpture show the biggest show in the world in Basel Switzerland and saw some stainless steel sculpture there and this was the inspiration to try to make one of those Inspired by a piece of, well, actually a record album, with the, back when they had such a thing, by the Maha Vishnu Orchestra that's got the same title. And it was in turn inspired by the writings of their uh, guru, Sri Chinmoy. It's basically an abstraction of a bird of fire um, as a kind of a um, transcendental and spiritual aspiration. I remember when I was a young child, the first time I ever spent the night with someone else, I came home and my mom said, did you have a good time? And I said, yes, mom, but it was really weird. Said they had a bunch of framed posters on their walls. Um, when I grew up, my grandmother was a fine artist and we just had paintings all over our home. It was almost like growing up in a gallery or a museum. And my grandmother painted with a lot of texture and I was just always around a lot of different artists and 3D mediums just always appealed to me. Well, it was very gratifying to, uh, to be picked to be uh, part of the East uh, Chicago Park District 2019-2020 um, Sculpture Exhibition. Um, there's a lot of fine artists in this exhibition and um, it's a beautiful location and it's just wonderful to have uh, this piece here at uh, MacArthur Park. I am greatly honored to be showing here in East Chicago at, at Veterans Park to have a sculpture of Hawk the warrior and dove of peace in Veterans Park is so symbolic of everything that I wanted the sculpture to say. So I'm pleased that it was uh, in this site. I was thrilled to find out that my sculpture was chosen to be in East Chicago. I actually have two pieces and um, it was a really nice um, surprise to be able to show to this part of the community and um, I just love having my sculpture out in the public. Well, you know what, to tell you the truth, um, the only time I've been in the city is on the Skyway looking east at all of the tanks and U.S. Steel, of course. Um, so this is the first time that I've been in the city proper and it's definitely an industrial landscape. And I think probably the steel work is pretty appropriate <laughs> for the area. A lot, a lot of stainless steel here in this piece. Well, it's always a great honor to have a piece selected and set into some kind of a park setting. And it's, I'm really happy to be part of this uh, East Chicago exhibit. I thought it was great. It's a per perfect site for it. It looks great. So, fabulous. Just hope everybody enjoys it. And I hope I explained it well enough that people get the idea. Thank All you. Everything's for sale, so come out, take a look, give me a call. Uh, just hope that uh, the, uh, the residents and the visitors to uh, East Chicago enjoy the sculpture. Well, I hope you enjoy the work. Um, Chicago Sculpture International is responsible for placing all these sculptures in your community. And uh, we just ask that you not climb on them, even though this thing looks pretty inviting for climbing. Please don't climb on it. When I first moved to Chicago, I was inspired by a lot of the architecture there. So um, I, I designed a lot of pieces that were vertical, kind of like a pillar or a column, because they're very, very strong pieces. And this, this one gets its name by mixing column and pillar, which is kind of a funny thing I did there. Whatever your dream is, pursue it. You don't have to be perfect at everything you do. As long as you learn along the way and grow, just keep trying, just keep knocking on those doors and eventually one will open for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.